Hello guys, Arkand here. I am the darkness in the light, the flower on the wall, and the resplendent nightfall. Okay, welcome back to Supernova. The last episode with Manassas was a doozy, but I want more, so let's go find more. I get no word from Manessis in the next three days. The itch to go out and kick some ass is gone too. I don't even try the armor out more. Maybe it's because before the talk in the park, Manessis seemed on board, or because I like him way more than the Baron, but the whole thing has left me a, lo a lot more unenthusiastic. Could text him myself, but every time my paw hovers over the po the phone screen, I remember I remember just how mad he was at me, and I closed the messaging app. Well, whatever. Gotta weather the midterms first, even if summoning up the appropriate level of concern over my grades is proving difficult right now. I don't think I'm passing econ, but I had been considering dropping it anyway. One less headache for the rest of the semester. I do fine on the others. I had been half done with most of my papers before the fateful condo trip anyway, so finishing up is no trouble. By the time Friday evening rolls around, I'm pretty much done. So is Lucas, although his plans have changed some since last week. Looks like he'll be home in El Paso for spring break. Bought the tickets just yesterday. Sorry for the late whining. But hey, you get the place all to yourself. You have my blessing to go crazy with, with whatever debauchery comes to mind. Oh, will you have will you pay to have the couch cleaned too? Please don't. That's what I thought. Why home though? Miss your family? I guess. I don't know. After the near misc from last week, it would feel nice to be with them for a bit. Makes sense. And it means I'll have a good excuse to cancel on my mom. Hmm? She wanted us to swing by this weekend, but since you won't be here... What's preventing you from going? Dunno, not feeling it. Maybe next week, when I have the energy to deal with Dad. Well, let me know how it goes. I'll be back Sunday night. Alright, have fun. My phone buzzes as Lucas heads into his room to pack. It's a message from Menaces. Fucking finally. You remember how to get back to the base? Hey. Yeah, I can find the entrance. Okay, I'll be there all day tomorrow. Alright, I'll come in the morning. How have you been? Fine. Cool, see you soon. Close. I'm getting the feeling he's not very good at this whole texting thing. Or he wants to talk with me as little as possible. But fair enough, he's not obligated to be my friend. Just my teammate and, for the time being, my mentor. I'll be out of his hair soon enough. I know at least a someone likes me. Who the who is this? Who this? Oh, Vince. Hey Vince, how's it going? Hey buddy, real good. You? Done with exams? Yeah. I'll be up at the park with Frank tomorrow. Oh, sweet. Gonna try to swing by, if you want. Yeah, of course. We should hang out sometime. Didn't bother you this week since you had midterms. Yeah, we should. <laughs> All right. We can think of something tomorrow. Yep. All right, see you then. If I'm not there, tell Frank to go easy on you. I'm sure he'll be nice. He will. Haha, <laughs> okay. See you soon. Close. I don't need Manessis to go easy on me. Or anyone else, for that matter. I wonder if Manessis has shared his reservations about, we about me with the others. Considering how they clashed over me back at their HQ, I imagine the Baron would be mighty pleased with Manessis' change of, change of heart. Although, I suppose that the fox never argued I should be allowed to keep the bracelet, just got angry when the Baron was being an ass about it. Not that it matters.
I'm up early the next day. Lucas is already gone by then. Wow, that is a lot of transitions. The traffic is a little better on the weekends, but I try to beat it anyway. As glad as I am to have my car back, I can't wait to be able to ditch it and fly to the HQ. It's way too slow like this. Through downtown, across the river, two neighborhoods, then the road sneaking up the mountain. The Sentinels must have a more efficient method that I don't know of yet. Vince mentioned that Meneses drives there, and I doubt the fox would be wasting so much time. The dirt road slides open to reveal the, to reveal the tunnel without me even having to brake. Gil must be keeping a close eye on the area. One smooth ride down a tunnel, le tunnel later, I'm back in the cave garage. I spot a motorcycle parked off in a corner. Guess that would belong to Meneses? Oh, he drives a rides a motorcycle wow that is badass <laughs> he didn't strike me as the type but then again what do i know yeah don't um people who ride motorcycles need to be tall i don't know <laughs> maybe i'm just judgy i exit the car and head to the metal door that i know leads into the rest of the base welcome Hello, back templar Hello, Gil. I told you, just Nick is fine. As you are now confirmed as part of the team, Templar is the appropriate designation. Sure, if you say so. Vanessa's is here? Yes, he is in his room. I will inform him you have arrived. Sure, I'll wait in the meeting room. Odd to find myself all alone in here. I take a look through the news feeds on the walls to see if anything catches my attention. A series of robberies in the Wharf District. More tensions in more tensions in Hawaii. Oh, a giant monster attack on the northern shore of Australia. Bet chirpers full of videos of that. Hmm. I wonder at what point the Cape Act Act would deem it permissible to interfere on foreign soil if a giant monster is attacking them. I'm guessing only after the local government agrees to the assistance. Which, if ours is anything to go by, will be long after people have started dying. <laughs> There's nothing requiring your attention. I jump at the sudden voice, but it's just Manessis standing, standing in the entrance, gazing at me from beneath his cowl. Hi, Manessis. Hi. Anything requiring your attention? wouldn't be here if there was. Makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, how have you been? Fine. Me too. Are we, uh, good? Sure. Come on, at least look me in the eyes when you say it. Okay, what's our plan for the date then? To be honest, I don't know what to do with you. Not a problem dudes often have with me, but okay. Um, wow. Some kind of training, I assume? Can you fight? Kinda? What does that mean? I've been in some scraps, but like, no formal training. What kind of fights? Dumb ones that I missed school for. Huh? Yeah, I went through a bit of a phase in junior year. Well, alright. Guess we can start with that. You won't get far if you can't do more than take blows. I can punch just fine. Who? High school bullies? Boom. <laughs> Listen to Mr. English Major here. What? N nothing Alright, come on. I follow him out into the hallway. Maybe I should ask for a tour of the whole place before we get to any training? Don't think it's occurred to him. Well, maybe later. Menaces presses his paw on a panel and the, metal and the metal wall slides up, revealing a small elevator. Have you had a lot of combat training? Kinda. What does that mean? It's complicated. 
We step out into another hallway and Munessis heads to a door on the right. Because of your powers? Yes. What are your powers? He glances at me behind his shoulder. I can fight, Nick, and I can teach you. Let's focus on that. Yeah, but I should know what to expect, right? I mean, we're teammates now. What if we're fighting together? Humph. The room is very white and empty. I tap my shoe on the floor. It's solid and hard. The fox leans against the wall, his gaze distant when I turn to him. As I said, it's complicated. We have all day, Manessis. I'm all ears. I tap my right ear to accentuate the point. He sighs and rubs his nose. I can do anything, pretty much. Erm, um, like any superpower? No. It's like, imagine any skill you could master. Like, as a normal dude, without any powers. I'll know how to do it, instantly. Ooh, so he's, uh, some kind of, um, you know, a mental intelligent, super intelligent guy? Hmm? What? Like, anything? But pretty much, yeah. As long as my body can do it. Dude, that's insane! Manessis knits his eyebrows together in anger. N no, I mean, that's crazy good. Like, anything? It's not as good as- it's not as good as it sounds. Well, it sounds damn amazing. Chill out. It's just one thing at a time. I don't retain it. Okay, still. Wait, so how good do you get at it? As good as it gets, I think. All I can do is gape at the fox, blown away by what he just said. Wow, his power is so cool. My head is spinning with all the possibilities a power like that holds. As nice as having a superpower is, the sheer versatility of Manessis. I don't get why he'd look upset. Does this mean you can be good at, like, science stuff? I don't do things like that. Why not? Reasons. Um, okay. All you need to know is that I can fight well and use pretty much whatever is at hand. Now, can we get back to your training? Yeah, alright. Should I summon the armor? Yeah, we'll start with that. But you also need to know how to fight without it. I know, I know. But later. Man, all he did was, all he did was tell me what his powers are, and it's as if someone lit a fire under me. No wonder he's with the Sentinels. Hell, I bet he could beat the Baron's ass. Maybe even Vince's too. Powers or no powers. All right then, Manessis, give it to me. Learning from the best. The best could stand to look a little more enthusiastic himself, but I'm getting used to how brooding he can be by now. It's kind of cute when he's not snarling at me. Watching his reactions out of the corner of my eye, I take off my sneakers and summon the armor. Power Rangers, go! <laughs> As the metal wraps its protective weight around me, Menesis gets in front of, in front to examine it. That doesn't look right. What do you mean? It's different from how Michael looked. Different how? Lots of things. The uh, thingy on top is missing. The plume? He shrugs. The helmet is all different. Guess Unbound will have to rethink her plan. There a mirror in here? Later. Come on, I'm curious. Alright, that's enough from me. He seems to have bought that this is the first time I've used the bracelet. Ugh, later. Alright, alright. What now? Footwork first. You should not make it easy for them to knock you over. Turns out, I am quite easy to knock over, as Manessis proceeds to demonstrate. He's not the most talkative teacher. Most of his activity during the time limited to correcting my posture and leg placement by nudging me with his paws and boots. Whenever he does speak, it's with that same odd cadence as the first time I talked with him alone. 
Since the, f since the time for banter is over, I stay quiet as well, save for the occasional grunt when the fox suddenly pushes me from a new angle, causing me to lose my footing. It gets real repetitive real fast. I sigh in relief when Manessis stops, inspecting me, then gives an approving nod. And then, taking me by surprise, tackles me with all his weight. Urgh! While I crash to the floor, Minesis is as nimble as ever, rolling back to his feet. You need to dodge. You didn't you didn't say anything about dodging. I had zero warning. You cannot expect warnings from an opponent. You're not my opponent. Whatever makes you think that. Square up. Oh, I'll square up. I rise, then without skipping a beat, I rush at him, and then past him, flailing as my tackle leaves me grasping at empty air. For good measure, he taps me on the back, the force enough to send me to the floor again, face first this time. How about you land a fist first before trying that? You sure? The gauntlets are pretty heavy. I'm not worried. Cheeky fox. Okay then. I roll my shoulders, hold up my arms like a boxer, and try a jab at his chest. He dodges with no visible effort. I try again, same result. May as well be trying to box an intangible specter. He moves, he moves just enough to avoid me, even as my swings become wilder and more erratic, careful, controlled evasions by the fox. It doesn't take long for me to be, to be left winded, while Minessa stands there, unfazed. Do you think the harder you flail your arms, the better your chances to hit me? Huffing, I will the armor to disappear and lean against the wall with one arm. <laughs> yes. Okay, no. I just got annoyed at how fast you are. He opens his mouth to respond, but I raise my paw to interrupt him. I know it's dumb, but give me a break. It's my first training session. To my surprise, Manessas just nods to that. Fair enough. We'll work on it. Uh-huh. Plus, it's not like I'll be fighting with my fists all that much. Speaking of which, I haven't even tried summon summoning the mace yet. Would have been funny if it was a flail. Although after Minessis' annoying dance dodge routine just now, I'd prefer something more precise. Although you can practice weapons on a dummy. Or fang. Huh. <laughs> I'd feel bad hitting Vince. Just him? Haha, <laughs> no, you too. And I wouldn't dare try it on Unbound. The Baron, on the other hand. Manessis chuckles. Well, let's see. I extend my left hand, doing the same thing I do with the armor, closing my eyes and concentrating on the image of the maze as I saw it in Templar's paw. There's no flash of light, but a satisfying weight forms on my outstretched palm. Except, it's no handle to a mace. I'm grasping a hilt, and attached to it is a double-edged blade. Um... Nick, that's a sword. I wasn't thinking of one! And yet, it's a sword, alright. Single-handed, as far as I can tell, quite long and sharp. I give it a tentative swing. The movement is fluid and easy. The sword's satisfying the hold. Careful. Y yeah, sorry. As I think on it, the sword vanishes, leaving a glowing afterimage that dissipated after another instance. Hold on, let me try again. Shutting my eyes, I picture the mace once more, even mouthing the word as I try to summon it. Yet, when the weapon forms in my hand, I know, it's the, I know it's the sword before even looking. Guess the bracelet adapted to you. You like swords or something? Uh, not really. I like to play, I like to play druids. Play... what? Druids, you know, magical dudes, love nature and stuff. Mm, I like druids too. Like in video games? Tabletops. Anyway, guess Templar has a sword now? Seems like it. But you can still train me? Yeah, I can use pretty much any weapon, so I can teach you whatever. Do you have a preference for what you use, or like a fighting style? A pistol. 
What? Seriously? Yeah. Okay? I'm pretty sure he has more than just a pistol hidden in the nooks and crannies of his costume. Still, a gun is a lethal thing. So is a sword, come to think of it. So then, what's our policy on, uh... Killing? Minesis's whiskers twitch as he scrunches up his nose. We don't have one. You decide that for yourself. Just don't break the law. Hidden as his face is in his cowl, it's difficult to read Minesis's expression as he says that. So no team policy? What does everyone do? Well, you've seen Fang. He wouldn't harm a fly if he could. So he holds back. A lot. And tries to talk them down before it gets bad. The Baron won't be nice enough to talk, but he has plenty of non-lethal options. Unbound just doesn't fight. Not what she's here for. Unless there's no other choice. And you? I tried to take the non-lethal approach. You just said you use a gun. Special jelly rounds. No penetration whatsoever. But they pack a punch. Huh, I see. But, well, you've seen how rough things can get. And once it's all over, and you're left standing, you can't always pretend they'll make it to the hospital. What does one even say to that? Every response that comes to mind sounds lame. This fox standing right next to me has killed someone, and he's telling me I might have to as well. That's... Kind of fucked, isn't it? Just be prepared. You can't freeze up, because your enemies sure won't. Enemies? Green energy exploding as a fist hits the armor. A memory that, even now, threatens to send me spiraling into panic. Yeah, I'd sure rather hit the wolf first. I... I'll try. Vanessa narrows his eyes at me. I don't need you to try. I need you to stay alive. Okay, okay. No try, Master Yoda. Who? Yoda from Star Wars? Never seen it? No. Huh. Well, anyway, I get what you're saying. Not gonna let some asshole splatter me if I can't help it. Don't worry. Yeah, if they're not holding back, neither should you. I guess I'm hoping to be good enough so I can hold back and not get myself killed at the same time. Templar did that, right? Michael? Yeah, he rarely went all out. I think back to the fight I saw. No way he was pulling his punches back there. He couldn't afford to, not with the way that wolf was attacking. Guess it shows what Manessis means. When a vicious fucker like that is after your life, you can't be worrying about being all delicate. You fight back with all you've got, or you die. Alright, I'll try. I, I mean, I'll do my best. Uh-huh. The fox watches as I slide down to sit on the floor with my back to the wall, then joins me himself while taking off his cowl. I examine the folds of his uniform as he does, wondering where he's hidden his weapon. What pistol? Hmm? Which model do you use? Ah. A custom Glock 19. Oh, come on! What? That's so basic. Oh, really? What do you even know about guns? Pfft, please, my dad's a vet. He's been dragging me to the shooting range since I was 12. Hell, I may be rusty, but I bet I'd be able to outshoot you. Did you not hear what my power is? So you're saying you need your powers to beat me? No, I practiced plenty on my own. Good, then let's do it. I'll take the opportunity to kick your ass back. Back? I didn't kick your ass. I barely touched you. Yeah, well, not landing even one punch bruised my ego. Ha, huh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Manessis, I'm joking. Oh, right. Sorry. He sits quiet for a moment, then looks at me with serious eyes. Do you want me to call you Templar? Huh? What do you mean? You keep calling me Meneses even though you know my name. Oh. I don't know. I guess I feel like you speak to me as Meneses a lot more than you do as Frank. I'm both, Nick. Yeah, I know. It's just... It's hard to explain. Like, the other day when you texted me, I thought you might want to hang out at the park or something, get to know each other. He looks away from me. 
You know why I'm mad. Yeah, and thanks for worrying about me. I mean it, but I'll be fine, Frank. Okay. Oh, come on. I mean, I get it. People see how hot I am and assume I must also be dumb, but I understand what I'm doing, okay? Wow. Okay, bitch. Open a window, because it's about to get smug in here. I haven't thought that at all. That I'm hot? That you're dumb. So you have thought that I'm hot. <laughs> you're really gonna force that? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. Damn, ouch, okay. N no all I mean is, I just haven't thought about that at all. No, no, it's fine. I can take this blow. There are plenty of dudes who appreciate what I have to offer. Ah, Nick, what are you doing? This is so awkward. You know, he just, he just got mad at you and you're trying to um, make things better, mend things, and you're gonna flirt with him? And you're gonna try to force him to think that you're hot and say that you're hot? I, oh my gosh, this is super cringy. Wait, you're gay? Yes? Are you just now realizing that? Uh, yeah. Dude! I burst out laughing. I have a pretty oblivious fox on my hands, don't I? Well, you can't fault the, um Manessis for not knowing. I mean, I don't know. You can't just assume right away that someone's um, LGBT. There are some people that you can see right away. There are some people you can't. I mean, come on. Uh, some people wear it on their sleeve. Some people don't. So come on, Nick. Be a little more open-minded. Frank looks on, bemused, and I give him a toothy grin. Now you know, I'm very gay. <laughs> Same! And that's cool. I just didn't know. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> now I'm just wondering if the others know. The fox shrugs. Probably. Or not. I have no idea. Are you dating anyone? <laughs> oh my gosh, are you interested? <laughs> nah, taking a break from all that. Good. Huh? Why? Oh, just that this superhero stuff isn't great for your dating life. Or so I'm told, at least. Hmph, that might be true, but I'm sure you have tons of people wanting to go out with you. Me? Nah, don't think so. Really now, a good-looking guy like you? And I don't mean just the Manessis persona, either. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let the flirting begin. I don't think about it much, to be honest. Oh yeah, that's cool. Sorry, didn't mean to pry. It's all good. The fox grows quiet, and I can tell I've made things a little awkward. <laughs> You're realizing that just now, okay? Maybe he's just not into the idea of dating. It's none of my business. But yeah, that is true. Some people, you know, are uh, into dating or looking to date. Some people are not, you know. Asexuality is a thing also. <laughs> As I uh, realized just recently. <laughs> there are questions gnawing at me, but if he doesn't want to share, I'm not gonna push it. Yes, Nick, don't do that. Alright, well, should we get back to training? I get up and offer a paw to Frank to pull him to his feet. Not tired? What, me? Nah, I've got plenty stamina. Okay, let's continue with the hand-to-hand -hand stuff for now. So we do just that, although I ditched the armor this time around. We're at, it for, we're at it for long enough that even Frank seems to be growing tired, not to mention myself. At this rate, I'll have to start pushing myself much more during my runs. And Jim, which I didn't go to this week, even though I had been planning to, after the last talk with Manessis shot my motivation. But now that we seem to have sorted that mess out, I'm amped again. I'm gonna shower real quick, although next time, gotta remind myself to bring spare clothes. Frank gives me an appraising look. You can borrow some of mine. Should be about the right size. True, he's only a couple inches shorter, and our builds are comparable, even if he's much more cut. Thanks, and that'd be nice. 
As we head out of the room, he pauses in the doorway and turns to me. Right, forgot to tell you, we each have a little room here, if needed. Oh, figured that might be the case. Frank nods and gestures to the panel near the elevator door. You should have access to Templars and the rest of the HQ. Isn't that right, Gil? That is correct, Manessis. Hmm, did you guys scan my paw or something? Yeah, the Baron wanted to do a background check. Heh, <laughs> too bad, I have no police record. Well, either way, it's in the system now. Go ahead. I press my paw against the panel. A line of light moves up and down, then the wall slides up. Lots of security for a secret hideout. If someone managed to get inside, would you want to make it easy for them to get around? Haha, <laughs> no, I suppose not. Is that a concern? Doesn't hurt to be careful. True, I'll keep it in mind. We ride the elevator back up. Mind giving me a tour after we've both showered? Sure, I don't need one though, so I'll wait here. Frank, you can stop rubbing it in. Uh, I'm not, it's true. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't break a sweat dealing with my ass. Maybe next time you can do a better job. Plus, I don't sweat. He responds with a smug smile to my feigned outrage. Okay, he's catching on that I'm being facetious. Damn, and Vince said you'd be nice to me. Oh, I was. Yeah, so gentle. I barely touched you. Maybe therein lies the problem. I snicker at his confused face. Sorry, I'll shut up now. Be right back. <laughs> okay, give me a sec to get you a shirt. Frank disappears down the hallway and returns in less than two minutes holding a plain black shirt. I take it with a grateful nod. Cool, be right back. I'll be in the meeting room. Menesis' profile has been updated. Okay, let's check that out. So his powers are... Menesis can acquire any skill and perform it as well as one can, assuming his body is capable of doing it. Okay, his occupation, otherwise unemployed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything new here? Mm, no, nothing. Okay, let's go back. Oh yeah, I remembered. I think I didn't check out Emma's profile. There was an update, I think. She has a pretty high-profile job. P balancing that with a superhero lifestyle must be a lot to deal with, but un Unbound seems more than capable. Yeah, she's that kind of girl. She's a strong, independent woman. <laughs> The shower is a quick affair. As I'm trying to tame my head for on the way to the meeting room, I run into Vince. Hey there, buddy. Hi, Vince. Your fur's still a bit wet. Hmm? Oh, it's okay. You two done with training? Yep, for now. Manessis won't admit it, but I'm pretty sure even he was getting tired. Sorry couldn't get here earlier. Oh good, Manessis is waiting for me in the meeting room, if you want to come. Yeah, sure. Vince goes ahead of me with that bouncy stride of his that makes him look so energized. How did it go? First session, right? Great. I think. Oh, did you get to use the armor? I take a look around, then lean in a little closer and whisper. Actually, I gave it a try a couple days ago on my own. But don't tell the others. My lips are sealed. Can I see it? Yeah, of course. Hold this for a sec. As Vince grabs my folded shirt, I wink at him and strike a dramatic pose. Okay. There's some also some flirting there. <laughs> he watches with a grin as the armor materializes. Dang, it's awesome. Putting your own spin on the look, eh? <laughs> nah, I have no idea how this happened. I thought it'd look the same. Suits you. 
Of course, it is a suit of armor after all. Vince laughs at my stupid joke and I grin back at him, even though he can't see my face. Shit, I am feeling tired though, even more now after summoning the armor again. I let it fade and motion for Vince to keep leading the way. Frank is sitting in his chair, tapping away on his phone. Huh, didn't see you come in. Sorry, headed straight to my room to change. Is there a reason you guys wear your uniforms in here? Like, should I be walking around in my armor? Nah, don't worry about it. Just force of habit, I guess. Feels more appropriate than if we were strolling around in flip-flops, you know? Plus, I wanted to head out into the city after seeing you two. When can I do that? Meneses, who has hidden away his phone by now, squints at me. When you're ready. Well, we can't wait too long, right? Otherwise, people will think Templar's, uh, gone. I gotta make some appearances. People will know you're someone else anyway. Oh shoot, didn't even think of that. Yeah, so let them know. They will sooner or later, and I see no reason for it to be later. The reason would be to make sure you're not in danger. I'll always be in danger, no? Make sure you're not in the kind of danger you can't handle. I'm not saying I'll pick a fight with some supervillain out of the gate, but what's the harm in stopping a robbery or something? You don't know who might pick a fight with you. I look to Vince for support, but he seems to want no part of this argument. He looks as if he's regretting accompanying me to the meeting room. So then, you expect me to hold up in here until… what exactly? Until I'm some martial arts expert? I… I don't know, Nick. Until I'm sure you can handle yourself out there. I don't know why Nick is being so… um… impatient. Like, he just had this one training session and now he just wants to go out and be a superhero right away. I mean, I get, I can get the, you know, has to make appearances, make sure that people think P Templar is not dead, but still, why is being so impatient? I take a deep breath to calm myself down. Okay, whatever. Can you give me a tour of the prison, at least? It's not a... Yeah, yeah, I know. The fox works his jaw as we stare at each other, then nods. Uh, Alright, have fun you two. I'm gonna check in with Unbound. Meneses doesn't reply as he stalks out of the room. I wave at the tiger before I follow. Meneses and Superfang's profile has been updated. Okay. Uh, what? Dislikes arguments. <laughs> He's a people pleaser. Uh, let's see. That's it. So, Superfang doesn't like arguing. Uh, how about Meneses? Notes. Meneses opened up to me a little, and at least he hasn't made any more attempts to persuade me to quit. But now we're facing a different problem. He doesn't want me to do, a, to do pretty much anything until I'm well-trained enough in his eyes, which, for all I know, could take forever. I'm all for honing my skills, but being locked up at the HQ is not what I signed up for. Yeah, I mean, this, I don't understand why, um, uh, Nick is being so Im impatient. He just had one training session and he's all like, I want to go and save people and stop crime. Yeah, it's, it makes sense for Meneses to wait for him to be well trained. At least have a little more training sessions. Well... I can get also why he um, doesn't want to be locked up in HQ forever. That's, that's, uh, that doesn't sound appealing, and uh, cabin fever is a real thing. <laughs> so he's going to get crazy. He's going to go crazy if he stays in this place forever, waiting for himself to be ready. Anyway, just rambling... As terse as my tour guide is being right now, the tour itself is still interesting enough to distract me from his mood. 
The base, which to my disappointment hasn't been named, consists of three levels, with the bottom one housing some critical functions, and the cave that serves as parking space. The second level is where the training took place. The hallway has a couple more rooms for the same purpose, with more elaborate props, including some VR sim stuff. Finally, the most familiar to me by now, apart from the, from the stuff I've seen already, there's an elevator that leads to the surface, hidden in a hollow of a tree, a, a room for data processing, and a simple lab. According to Meneses, the former isn't used much, but it's still handy to have. And Gil constructed all of this? Yeah. Come to think of it, Gil, I haven't seen you yet, only heard your silky voice. I'm my best to stay out of the way, Templar. Aw, oh, you don't have to. I'm sure your er, bodies are beautiful to behold. My task units have functional designs, Templar. They were not meant to be aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nick, you're even flirting with Gil. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, my friend. Hmm. Anyway, here's your room. Ah, we've arrived at Templar's quarters. As the fox points to the panel I'm meant to press, a knot forms in the pit of my stomach. This wasn't just Templar's room, it was Michael's. I might wear the armor, but the feeling that I'm an intruder hasn't worn off just yet. Still, I press my paw to the surface. The door slides open, and it's pretty much just a normal room. Apart from the lack of windows, it could pass as a generic bedroom in any house or apartment. Let me know if you want any adjustments to be made, Templar. Vanessa peeks into the room, eyebrows drawn together in thought. Did you clear it out, Gil? I did, Vanessa. Oh, thanks, I guess. Um, it's good enough, Gil. I don't think I'll be staying here much, so it's fine. I have prepared a communications device for you. You can find it on the table. Indeed, there's a small bug-like device with a dull sheen laying there. I pick it up and turn to Meneses, frowning. Put it in your ear. I grunt and nod. Thanks, Meneses. I gathered that much. There's a narrow door leading into a bathroom at the back of the room. Finding a mirror there, I put the device into my right ear, hiding it in the fluff. It attaches just fine, not falling in even when I shake my head. Meneses stands outside the bathroom, watching me. Tap the base of your ear twice if you need to use it. I do just that. Gil's voice resounds in my ear. Good afternoon, Templar. Is the device working as intended? Uh, I think so. Wouldn't I need to go outside to test it for real? That would be prudent. You can do that later. For now, have Gil connect you to one of the others. Yup. Yeah. Gil, can I have Super Fang, please? After a brief delay, I hear wind noises, which fade as soon as Vince speaks. Hey, yo! Hi again! So, wanna prank call the Baron? Meneses lets loose an exasperate, exasperated, an exasperated growl. That's not a toy, Nick. I wave him off with a grin. <laughs> I'd rather not. But anyway, feel free to talk to me whenever you need. Sweet, thanks. I'll stop bothering you now. Talk to you later. How do I turn it off? Just tap your ear twice again. Again, I do, and the device goes silent. Sweet, I guess I'm officially on call as a superhero now. Yeah, sure. Well, that's it for today. Sounds good. I think I'll drive home now. Unless you wanted something? I consider offering to hang out again, but I have a feeling I'm going to get rejected. No, no, I don't think so. I'll be staying here. I'm up for more training tomorrow. Good. Okay, see you then. Yeah, see you. Stay safe. I'm already riding the elevator down into the cave when I hear Manessis' voice coming from inside my ear. Forgot to mention that there's another tunnel leading into the city. Ask Gil about it. We'll be quicker. 
Oh, I'll do that. Thanks. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. I chuckled to myself, then do as Manessis said. Indeed, there is another tunnel deeper into the cave, and it goes all the way to a parking lot on Macmillan Avenue. Not all that close to my college, but leagues better than taking the other road. All I need is to wait for Gil's confirmation that the coast is clear, and soon enough I'm riding through downtown. Man, I'm tired. I need a nap, pronto. That's a lot of transitions again. Ah, there we go. Dinner after nap. I have some reading to do over spring break, but that can wait. I should take some time during the week to scout out the college grounds for a takeoff and landing spots. Gonna tell Manessis I want to practice flying too. The training room isn't cramped, but for the best experience, I'll need to go up into Saltsford Park. Should be fine as long as Gil tells me nobody's around to see me smacking into trees. Hmm. Would be nice to learn more about the bracelet too, but I don't want to bother Mrs. O'Connor. Doubt she needs reminders like this at the moment. Who are you, Mr. Spear Warrior? Maybe digging a bit through the anthropology department's library could help. I've got lots to do, don't I? Okay, I think that is a good stopping point. Let's save. Go back to the main menu. Okay, so... That was a pretty nice episode. We've got to bond mo a little more with Manessis. You know, he wasn't more... He wasn't uh, too hostile to us. We wa we've warmed up to him a little. A little. And got to know him a little better. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the revelation that Nick is gay and he's like super um, uh, oblivious is kind of adorable. Uh, he hasn't shown any interest so far. So uh, I'm kind of curious how the romance will play out. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll see that in the next uh, Let's Reads. So if you guys like that, I hope you can leave me a like and subscribe if you can. But if you don't want to, that is okay. And I want you guys to take some time to appreciate something in your life today. And I will see you in the next Let's Read. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!